Alright everybody, welcome to another assembly tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I want to go over how to define integers and as well as how to make our compilation process um, seamless and integrated um, by using Linux shell scripting. Um, I have a tutorial on my channel on how to do Linux shell scripting but um, if you want to go ahead and pause the video and copy down this script real quick it makes uh, your life easier otherwise you can just do what we've been doing which is nsm-f and you know all that jazz and then convert it to you know by using the script I just make it a little bit more easier on myself okay so this is this entire script in its entirety okay uh, back to our assembly program now we're going to talk about how to declare integers and assign values to it and change values and then as well as print out that value to the screen to show what's going on okay so let's get to it we're going to define back in our data section we're going to define an in a variable called i and that variable is going to be uh, a double a double um, it's a defined double uh, so this is the basic breakdown of, of all these types of uh, keywords in uh, netwide assembler. Uh, defined byte is 8 bits, so in other words it's a byte. Defined word, a word is 16 bits, okay? And uh, defined double, a double is a 32 bits, so that's your integers um, and your floats. And uh, this should be defined Q, it should be DQ which is a defined quadruple and that's 64 bits okay so in this case we're, def we're declaring an integer and an integer if you're familiar with C or C++ or Java an, in an integer is uh, 32 bits in length and so that's what we're doing here we're gonna say that this number is um, this variable is going to be of size uh, double word so 120 Okay, so after we have this, we're also going to have a message that that says value of my integer is, you know, and then instead of this, it's going to replace it. We're going to replace it with i, and it should display 120 to the screen. Uh, so let's go ahead and print this out to the screen, and we're going to say, of course, um, usually by using printf, you want to have everything displayed backwards, so the format and then the value that we want to print out. So to do this in assembly we would go push the address of um, of the variable i. If you don't have this d word in front of i the compiler or NASM will give you an error telling you that you need to specify its size. So this keyword is important otherwise it will give you an error. And what this effectively does is remember that labels are treated as memory address locations so therefore this is actually a memory address so i is, is standing in the place of um, let's say ox8 eight, eight, you know that's that's what i is it's a memory address so all this does is push that memory address onto the stack and next we're going to push the message that we want to display and in this case it's going to be format 2 and then we're going to call printf and that's it so let's go back to our terminal and let's display this message we're first going to compile it and it says everything was successful and then we're going to run our program and now it says that our integer is this but that means we made a mistake uh, so let's go back and see what happened here okay so the mistake is that um, here we're pushing not we're not actually pushing the value of i we're pushing its address so what we have here compile this again and run it what we have here is the address of i displayed in decimal format as opposed to um, uh, hexadecimal if we wanted to display it in hexadecimal we just type x here and go back and run. So now this is the address of i in hexadecimal. But that's not what we want. We want we want the value 120 displayed to the screen. So therefore, what we have to do is change here into braces, and and um, this 
says instead of uh, look at the memory address and take its contents and push it onto the stack. So in this case, this is effectively pushing 120 onto the stack. And so let's compile this again, run it, and as we can see, it's 78. And 78 is hexadecimal for uh, 120. And let's change this back to D, save our program compile it again and run and as we can see the value is 120 well that's it for this tutorial in the next one we'll show you how to work with if statements remember to subscribe and rate this video thank you